Alrighty, so now it's time to get the T. Triculentis in, in her enclosure. Uh, I'll give you some information about it. So here's uh, her enclosure as a critter keeper. Uh, crab works, I, I believe that the company name is. So it's got about four inches of potting soil and a cork bark where she can hide. So this is your typical terrestrial setup. So uh, Thirgumpia species are terrestrials. Uh, these ones in particular come from India. So because they come from India, you know that uh, these are oval terrestrials. So because of that, you're going to expect them to be very fast and very, very pissed off. She's a bitch, actually. Okay, so uh, let's further ado, let's look at her uh, cage so, so far. Um, this will do well for teas. You know, it's a shoebox enclosure. I got this from Tarantula Canada because um, she was getting rid of it anyways, uh, the cages. So I have her molt records right over here. Uh, that's when she last molted. So they got her on uh, in, back in 2005, and you could see uh, two molts in 2007, one in 2008, and one in 2009. So I think that's September 30th, I believe. So it's almost a year. Alrighty, so uh, let's do the transfer video, and then we'll do the care sheet. If my mind serves me correctly, they can be kept very similar to the uh, Culebrachy species. Uh, you know, like 80% uh, humidity and uh, 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So without further ado, let's have a look at her in depth. Because this is the, actually the first one I've ever seen on YouTube before, so uh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so yeah, there's the female. Five and a half inches, six inches. Probably will be very similar to the... Um, Kilobrachys from Riatus, Indian Violet, these get up to having a similar leg span. I think they come from the same region too, because I know they're both from India. Alrighty, so I can expect her to be really bad tempered. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a catch cup here. And maybe prod her. to go inside. Okay, let me get back. See how see the temperament of this girl. Whoa, okay, so it's a very pissed off tarantula. As expected, she's not gonna go easily. So Hope you can actually see this. I don't know what else to qual qualifier. Woo, she's mean. She's very mean. Get inside here. Come on, Zoe. You're gonna be fine. These are ultra, ultra defensive spiders. And uh, I do not recommend you handle this one. Okay. Now what you do is take the paintbrush, slowly prod her out. Hopefully she's not going to be as bad tempered, but uh, she's pretty bad tempered. That's what I can say. Oh, okay. See, once you get out of her enclosure, they're not teas are not as aggressive other as they are made out to be. But yeah, my sincerities is a an exception. Oh, boy, that was uh, <laughs> pretty sweet there. So it's the video of the lesser goa mustard. Thrygmapius tricolentus. She'll be fine. Oh yeah, definitely a spider you do not want to put your fingers on. <laughs> uh, that's for sure. She's going to be pissed off. So uh, she'll be featured in Tarantula Feeding Data 52 uh, on Thursday. And that's it. So uh, let me get the pre-label. 
to let you know that this is a Thrygmopeus triculentus. Very rare female from Tarantula Canada. Uh, as a worthy replacement of Autumn, uh, my reversal palma petersi. Speaking of which, I'm going to be donating her to uh, Steve Longhorn uh, from the UK. Uh, he guys, uh, he wants to do some taxonomy work on it, so I thought I'd make a great contribution to uh, for to send my PRC center. So I'll keep the records here, so next time we'll know when she bolts, and I'll keep updating it, and also I'll do videos on it. All right, so uh, that's the video transferring the uh, teacher Colantis. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, thanks for watching.